What's up guys, Alpha here, back with another Minecraft Let's Play episode. And today, we're going to be doing a bit more different things, and instead of working on this wall over here, I want to get a couple of things done in this episode. Now, I did tell you guys last episode that I would get this corner done, which I didn't do, which, um, you, I'm kind of trying to still figure out on how I'm going to do it, because it's quite odd shape. I might even have to tweak it a bit like the actual shape um but i also i didn't i didn't get the time to actually do it yesterday because i had a, quite a lot of homework to do that's why i didn't uh design this bit here but i'll definitely make sure i get that done and i'll be able to show you guys on how i did it um but the the problem with these corner bits here are also that they're just really hard to um get get them detailed like it's it's very easy to over detail a corner you could either over detail a corner or under detail a corner and um, that's that's still a problem I still have so yeah it's quite it's quite a pain doing the corner bits but I'll definitely figure it out and I'll be able to show you guys that um, in a future episode definitely but uh, this episode I actually want to get uh, a couple things done I want to get my second floor interior done and I want to get a chicken farm going because we don't have uh, uh, a good enough food supply because my food farm thingy that I made there it's temporary obviously but um, it's not it doesn't quite give me enough food as you guys can see I'm already hungry I only have one more chicken left and these are the old ones from a while back um, but this food farm over here doesn't quite get me anything it's hardly actually let me go check get some stuff because I haven't I actually come over here just a couple of time I need to get these uh these trees out of here they're just so lazy. The big trees are so hard to get out, get out, to chop down because you have to go into them and stuff. But I'll get that done soon. Um, oh yeah, you see there is a couple bit here. Let's get this and I broke that, which is not good because I have no hope. All right, let's see. Let's grab this stuff. But yeah, basically I want a chicken farm going because um i don't have a good enough food supply and the with the i'm always working in this area so with i with the chicken farm that i'm going to be making um basically if you're in the area um it'll be working and it'll do it automatically so you just come stop by look in the chest and there should be some food which is which works out perfectly for me because i don't have to come over here constantly kind of like this i don't have to constantly be coming over here and harvesting and stuff like that i, I mostly need the wheat though for for um for the cows and stuff oh my god this place is gonna turn into a huge mob fest but uh, I mostly need the wheat for cows and stuff and the sheep as well um, that's the only reason I have that there but for food supply I like I want to use meat mostly meat stuff which the chicken kind of works out quite nicely because it's a very easy farm and as long as I'm working in this area I'll be keep, I'll keep on going constantly so that's that's a good thing See, I don't need those. Yeah, all right. And I want our little chicken farm to go over here, by the way. Right here. And I've already set up the supplies. Get out of here. Um, I've already set up the supplies right here in this chest. All the stuff that I'm going to be needing. Um, I wanted to... Oh, whoa. That's not supposed to go there. Uh, hopefully that doesn't mess anything up on the other side. It was coming crashing. Oh, it's fine. It's not noticeable. On the other side, I really don't go into at all. Oh man. Uh, do I have cobblestone somewhere? That bugs me when there's dirt there. Hopefully the grass will spread to it. But um, but yeah, I want to get that done. And I've already cut cut out the hole and all that stuff. So and all the materials are set. Let me grab a quick stone block. Stone block. Oh, also, you guys, you guys might have seen already, but my desk is now to a seven. And it was at a six, but I kind of died when I was preparing for this episode. I went into the nether to get some lava, and it didn't quite end up being so promising. I, the good thing is, is that I put my stuff away, besides my armor, that's why I have a whole new set. But I put my stuff away. Um, so that's a good thing. So I didn't lose anything but the bucket I had on me, the armor, and... I think that was it. I didn't even bring a pick or anything like that. I pretty much put everything away just to be safe. Let's grab some food. Um, but 
Yeah, I decided to kind of because our my nether spawn is basically below a lava lake. So the way I would get lava was I'd poke a hole in the ceiling, and that didn't quite work because as soon as I poked a hole in the ceiling, the lava came down, and I pretty much died automatically. So I lost all that stuff. I went back in with the lava potion or a fire potion, and I got all my stuff. But yeah, that's how I got the number seven. So, anyways. Let's go ahead and start making this. Now, the chest is going to be going right here, obviously. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I did do this one right. I'm just making sure. We're going to have our chest there. And we're going to need the hopper, some building blocks. All right, so our hopper is going to be facing or going into this chest here, I guess. And then we're going to fill up this area with the uh, stone bricks. Like that, right? It might be quite a bit dark, but I know it's... We'll do that, I guess, or put one there. But I know it's going to get cramped in here when I'm going to have to play some chicken, so... Because I think it's going to be maxed, maxed out, so I'm going to have to figure a way to get to the top when uh, doing this, but... Alright, so after that, we're going to be needing our dispenser and our half slab, which we do not have, which I forgot, of course, of course. I always forget something, guys. Sorry. Right, so let's go grab a quick half slab. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Um, half slab. Doesn't matter. I want a stone one though. Oh, here we go. Stone one. Cause I want it to look nice. It, I know it's kind of in our hallway, or our way out to uh, the wilderness, I guess. Um, but this was like the best spot I would find for this place. So we're going to want our, our uh, half slab on there, and our dispenser is going to be going right here, oh, oops, facing inward, so. And it went in the hopper, which went in this chest, like that. Alright, so once you got that going, I believe you do need the glass now. Glass like this, glass like this, I guess. Um, then we start putting down some stone bricks, like this. Uh, and now we need some redstone stuff, which I you see I can't even access the place anymore. Let's actually grab all this stuff now. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and add these like this. I believe it went one out like that, one out this way, and then one in this way. It's track mode. And the redstone all the way around, I believe. And then now you put a hopper in there. Hopper, two hoppers going into that one. And then some blocks all the way around. So this is where it starts getting cramped. So we're gonna have to put one there, put one here. Put one all the way around here. Like that. And our carpets. Like, oh, whoops. Going above this. And uh, our, our lava goes on here. Which, I don't know how that doesn't light on fire. Maybe, huh, I don't know. But, alright, so I know that goes in like this. Then we have these two like that. Um, and then I think, after that, we just fill in this area here. Which is gonna, unfortunately, get us stuck here. I need to find a way out. Maybe, if I can... Alright, so, perfect. This is gonna be our way out. Um... So now, after we have that, we need to add our more blocks over here. And fill in this little bit over here. Why can't I place it? Oh, there we go. And we should be good to go. So this is where we're going to be adding our chickens. Let's go ahead and get rid of some blocks here. Alright, we're going to add our chickens there. And then we have to fill up this area as well. With all these blocks, I believe. Uh, where does this go? I, be I believe we have blocks going right there. And these are where our chickens are going. And I fell in here. So let's go ahead and grab our eggs, which I have tons of because I had kind of a chicken farm to start out with, but I wanted something that was more automatic than me having to kill them every time. So I have tons here. So I'm thinking we could just grab like maybe two rows. Two, one, one more. Two rows ought to do is just enough to get us going I guess we might add more in the future depending on how much it's given me 
Let's actually get more blocks. Oh, do I have enough blocks? No, I need more blocks. I need two more, I think it was. There was five, five blocks there. I'm not quite sure. Let's go ahead and grab some more though. Uh, did uh, grab a half stack, whatever that was. All right, so let's head, go ahead and head back to this little area. Back here. And let's see, let's get ourselves up here real quick. I don't wanna make the grass turn to, or turn the grass into dirt. All right, oh wow, I only need, oh, but plus these. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fill in these, get rid of you. And then we're gonna start throwing them in here. Oh, uh, I don't wanna. Whoa, that's like a chicken every time. Uh, how am I not gonna? All right, this is perfect. Uh, let's just go ahead and throw all these chickens in here. You see? Oh, I think we might actually get a pretty good amount up in here. I don't want them to escape. It's not a good thing. Oh yeah, guys, I'll see one more thing. We are almost at 1k, which is insane. And I have something very, very nice for you guys. You guys are going to be pretty excited, I think, when you guys see it. Um, but not only that, that we've almost hit 1k, but we're already at like nine, 105 videos uploaded. And it's just it's just crazy how how fast the time goes. Cause I started, I started uploading to YouTube in August. Actually, right after my birthday, it was August like 18 or something like that. It was right after my birthday, I started uploading to YouTube, and I started being really consistent ever since I started. Um, and that was back in August. It's now the end of February, I think, if not the beginning of March. I'm not quite sure. Um, and we already have a hundred over a hundred uploads, which is insane. That's how fast the time goes by. I didn't like you don't even realize it. It doesn't even feel like I've uploaded that many times. Alright. Oh man, it looks like a couple of them actually escaped. Oh and yes of course they did. Get out of here. Kill you. Kill you. Kill you and you. Oh man, there's a lot of them. Why are they escaping? Did I miss did I miss a spot? Oh no. Okay, no, never mind. Okay, they're just escaping, just to escape. Get out of here. No, you're breaking my stuff. Oh, how am I gonna dang it? Oh man, I'm just gonna have to fix that later. Alright, so let's go ahead now that we have that done, we gotta go ahead and add the rest of the blocks here. Alright, so this should get us, let's fill up this area, just so enough to where it doesn't, stuff isn't spawning in here because that's not good, not good at all. Alright, let's fill this in, this here, this here, and that is fine from there, get rid of you. Alright, so now, this should be working quite fine. I actually like how this looks, now can I add something? Actually, I actually can. I believe these blocks don't have to be here. Like that. So I can go ahead and add some stairs if I have. No, I don't. Let's go ahead and make some real quick. Eat. I'm always having to eat. I'm, I'm thinking it's because I have it on hard. And that's probably why my food bar goes down extremely fast. But, yeah. Oh well. I'd rather have it on hard than medium. Or easy or whatever it is all right so this is gonna be enough actually I didn't even need that much I only needed four. Oh well we, al we always need stairs so it doesn't really matter all right so let's go ahead and do that and what else do I have here yeah I really can't do much I think that's all I could do but yeah it's kind of still fitting the design which is quite nice and this should get us a lot and a lot of uh, chickens hopefully or meat all right so now that we have that no we don't need this anymore here so that's pretty much done and these sheep have been here forever get out of here sheep now what I want to do is finish this area which is n nothing big you guys actually seen the how I furnished this the second floor in the 
let's play build a house thing. Let's build of the let's play house something like that. I don't. I even forgot what I named it. I named it something really weird. But uh, the pretty much the way how I furnished this area here was I kind of just had a two path type of way here going on, and then I had kind of individual rooms on this side. And this was just kind of like a little mini sitting area and stuff. Nothing big. But, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and lay that out, I guess. And I kind of just went along with the pillars. Like that. And then I would just cut out a hole there. Cut out a hole there. Cut out a hole there. And I might just leave the dog here. I think it doesn't really matter. Put it in the little room here. Come on. Let's try to get him in here. Not for the let's build, I actually put like I made a closet there, but I'll just leave the dog there. It doesn't really matter. And then each one each one of these rooms can be its own specific thing, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Alright, let's get you. Uh, da, da, da. Like this. Get rid of you. Now for this bit here. I don't like this. Uh, we might need some ha half slabs, so let's go upstairs and get some half slabs real quick. Half slabs, no. Get some of you. And then we might need some doors as well. Let's grab some of the crafting wood. Do I have any here? Not that. I use that. Oh, actually, I don't use this wood. Don't use none of that. I don't think I'm going to be needing any of the Akir Shaw wood or whatever you call it. Because it's not a material that I think I'm going to be using for the village. How much did I need? I think I needed six. Six. No, four. What am I doing? Four? Was it four? I don't know. Uh, anything besides that? Um, oh, yeah, this. Just in case. And, and let's also grab some more wool just in case. Alright, so let's see. Let's get rid of this and start pillaring this stuff up. Right about here. Oh, also, you guys have always been asking me to use a texture pack. I am using a texture pack, guys. It's obviously not something that changes the game quite like amazingly. Um, I'm using Faithful. Um, Faithful 60, 30, or 32 texture pack, or I don't know, 64. I'm not quite sure. Um, but it's basically default in HD, and the reason I stick to uh, Faithful for at least the survival type of stuff is because I think uh, it just fits it. I don't know. I, I I myself like the default texture pack. I actually really do like it. So like default's not something that I really don't like. I know a lot of people don't like default whatsoever, but I actually really like default. Default's actually quite nice. Um, for specific things though. Now obviously if you were to build something modern and default would not look nice This is why I'm using I'm using default and building medieval things because I think that it just looks nice and it fits but if I were to build something modern in this texture pack or default basically uh, Wouldn't quite look nice. It actually would look completely horrible but um, But yeah guys, I, I want to stick to faithful. I think it's the best texture pack for survival at least because I do have a couple medieval stuff, like I have, um, I have the myth pack, and then I have the, what is it, the, uh, Aether's Ascended, my favorite texture pack, by the way, um, but those I kind of feel like are more for creative and not for, uh, for, uh, whatchamacallit, for survival let's play, because the material, the items are a bit kind of just weird, like, um, it's not something that, uh, I would specifically, I would probably use it for PvP and creative building. That's pretty much it. But for actually playing the game in survival, I don't think I would probably use it. I just feel like it doesn't fit. Um, and then I'm obviously not going to use a modern texture pack with medieval stuff. I don't, I don't think that looks quite nice either. I know even even though flows is like really high HD and stuff like that, it actually quite it looks quite good. But I just rather stick to normal default when it comes to this stuff, guys. So that's why I don't want to change uh, my my texture pack. But yeah, those are my reasons. Because I see that you guys always ask to 
put on a different texture pack instead of using the same default type of, type of one, which is pretty much the same thing as default. Now, I just forgot what I was looking for. I needed stairs, so let's grab some of you. Or what's the color? The color is brown, so we don't want to stick to the same color because if not, it just kind of just all mixes within each other. So let's grab some different color stairs. And we're just going to be do some basic furnishing, I guess. It's nothing quite big, I would say. Let's see, do I have any pressure plates? No, I don't. Uh, let's grab some of you. And what I had over here was kind of just little mini sitting tables, I guess. It's nothing quite big. Put one here. And then we'll fit one here as well. Take that one. Oops, I'm missing blocks completely everywhere. Uh, what is this? Yeah, my silk. Well, I thought I had a different one on. Alright, and then we'll just put one another one over here. And put our stair, or our fence, and our pressure plates. Now we'll have to get like item frames and stuff like that to make the sides look a bit more better. But yeah, it's pretty much some basic stuff, nothing quite big, I would say. And now these rooms could be their own thing. I don't know, usually I just make them kind of like storage, mis min miscellaneous type of rooms where I just like place chests randomly and crafting tables. And if I did have cobwebs, I'd put that as well. But really, nothing quite big. And I know this is kind of a waste, especially with materials. Like, I could use these chests for something more useful, but it doesn't really matter. I could make more. I don't want stuff to be spawning in here, because then that would be bad. But yeah, let's see. Let's go ahead and just place some stuff here. Place a chest there. Maybe one here, one there. Two crafting tables. It's good to go. Did I put a torch in here? No, I didn't. Let's place a torch on there and head on to the next one. And maybe later on for the future, I could just get rid of the stuff and um, actually make a use out of it, I guess. And just having it be random stuff. Uh, let's actually grab a bit more of these. Get rid of you. And add a torch back there. And you can really hear those chickens out there. Hopefully it's not really loud. Alright, like that. And some chests here, chest here. Maybe a crafting table there, crafting table here, and there you go. It's looking pretty nice. Now there's a torch here, get rid of that, and add one back there. Alright, so that's pretty much all our little rooms. Now for these, if you guys have any other ideas what I could put in here for future episode, um, I definitely will change them around and we could add some different stuff. I was actually thinking to add that chicken farm in one of those rooms, but I kind of feel like it wouldn't fit because it's like, oh, I'll place the torch there. Because the chicken farm's like, it's three wide, which would fit, but it's like six tall, I think? Six tall or five tall? And that's obviously not five tall or six tall. Not only that, but there's lava and I don't want to mess with lava. And that's why I kind of did it out here to start out with, because I didn't want it to burn anything, which I don't think it has, so... That's a good thing. I kind of feel... Is that the lava? I don't know. I kind of feel like I hear... Um, a flame somewhere. Yeah, I hear sheep. I feel like I hear a flame somewhere. I don't know if that's me, or... It could be the lava popping pop and stuff like that. You see, it's kind of like really up against that, so... I don't want it to burn anything up here yeah I think it's fine maybe it's just me but um, yeah that's basically our little chicken farm so we basically got our little stuff done we have our chicken farm we have I guess I just keep the sheep inside um, we have our second floor done oops oh well I'll fix that later oh what can I do with these I don't know maybe I'll just throw them in the dispenser and wait until those hatch but, um, but yeah, that's basically it. Next episode, I definitely do want to have this done off camera so I could show you guys and give you guys a good example of that. I also was thinking to do a Minecraft designs video on kind of because the last episode before this one, I kind of gave a good example or somewhat of a good example of, um, I guess working with the land because 
you could always build something and if you build it on something flat it's obviously a lot more easier but if you're working with the land and it's going up a level it's uh for some people it's quite hard to like work with the land as well as uh make the build look good so i was thinking for a minecraft designs video i would probably cover some of that stuff so keep an eye um for that in the future um but as well as you guys have any other suggestions for anything else that i put in this little magical village which i still need to repopulate and stuff um and definitely do leave in the uh in the section below or the description below um and i will do it and as well as i will have this done for sure um and i'll go through it and stuff but besides that guys that's pretty much it hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and i'll be seeing you guys in the next episode bye guys